Um, most people uh, said they were here for family reasons. Uh, we just go back to the um, um, But within that figure, there's a lot of, um, for instance, partners of workers at Dawn Meats and Western Brand. There's a big influx of Brazilians, for instance, and we really worked hard to get their views into this survey. So a lot of the Brazilians are here with their partner who's worked in the factory. How long have you lived here? Interesting that um, the majority of people have been here less than 20 years, if you extrapolate from, from that, that, from the survey. More than 20 years, it's about 40%. Um, this is where it gets really interesting. <laughs> Do you feel you've integrated into community life? Um, the biggest block said a moderate amount or a little. So that is, speaking as someone from the community and who's trying to promote community integration, this is a big a problem. We'll go to the next slide. Do you, this is the encouraging bit. Do you wish to become involved in the community? Uh, yes, by far the majority. Um, okay, this is very interesting too. The activities, so the, these are the key reasons people get. That is, activities do not suit my schedule activities take up too much time, a lot of people said. Um, they're too costly, a minority of people said. Do not know about the activities. So information barriers is a really big issue. And sorry, uh, I just referred to the other. Um, I, I, I don't have time to break it out exactly for you, but I can tell you that the, the English language ability was a major issue. And another major issue among the Irish population was they're having to commute far to work and they don't have time to contribute to the community when they come back. But um, these are just some comments from the survey because uh, like, if you want to access the whole survey, please ask me and I'll give you access to it. It's a huge <coughs> piece of work. Um, lack of, so a Polish male in his 30s, as they said, lack of central and timely information, information information sources, communication, we don't know many Irish locals, and mostly mixed with other Brazilians, <laughs> travel for work. Um, and then we, there was a lot of positive answers that, that uh, Nigerian female, um, I don't feel left out to integrate the activities. We used the languages that people wrote with themselves. <coughs> uh, go to the next uh, slide. This is another very interesting question. Are your views of the town negative or positive? While the majority is positive, there um, is a significant flock of uh, negativity there, or at least mildly negative. Um, so somewhat negative is running up on about 20%. Neutral is running also 20%. So negative 10% really negative 2%. So just uh, the next, um, these are some of the reasons why they said that. Irish male, I don't know, he doesn't say male, but I know he's male. <laughs> but I'm honest, here, listen to, because he, he, I, 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 I surveyed him, so I know. Ballyhorn is becoming a toast town. Most money earned in this town is being spent in other towns. Um, there is, a, yeah, there's a really strong uh, viewpoint among the ethnic Irish in particular that Ballyhonest has been open, taken by Clemores mainly due to, to the range of shopping options and hotel options available to them, Tesco, Aldi, etc. Um, so, I think we'll go on to the next. Um, <coughs> these are some of the more on that same issue. Why do you think it's positive or negative? Um, I'm positive towards the fact that there's so many different nationalities living together in the town, however, there's often little overlap between their day-to-day -day lives with language being a real barrier. Um, I have to say one of the striking results of the survey for me was possibly the most positive group is the Eastern European, stroke Slavic group. There was a lot of positive comments about the quality of the schools here, and um, Hungarian female in her Early 30s. It's a nice town, many facilities, great location and transport. The local schools are very well equipped, and I see how local people work hard on integrating all the, lo the non-local people. 
Um, Irish Mail, there is a great amount of people doing their best for Valley Horn, supporting local business, helping integrate the national community and upkeeping the town. However, there's a large court of people who are prejudiced against the outsiders. They do not even realize it themselves they're racist. The whole world opened its doors to Valley Horn's people throughout the centuries. The least we can do is welcome the less fortunate. Um, again, very, we had a very positive uh, response from a uh, Nigerian mother regarding her own boy plays for the local football team. Um, we go on. Okay, uh, this is where it comes sort of to summary, the summary part of my presentation. Um, I use this term ethno-specific. I'm not fresh into this field, so I hope I got the, the term right. But it seems to, from our survey that different ethnic groups have really particular needs. Language classes, particularly for the Brazilian community. There is a large Brazilian church in this town, and <coughs> became aware of that by doing this survey. And wonderful people, but they have real problems with English language skills. Transport. A lot of the newer arrivals to this town seem to, for whatever reasons, do their shopping in either Castlereagh or Claire Morris and they're moaning about the lack of bus schedules to get there and back. Um, when I say the hotel, among the Irish survey respondees, the hotel is a really, really big issue. People want a hotel. They also want a leisure center. And um, the big issue common to uh, all the different ethnic groups was uh, crash would be top of the list. Discount retail, everybody from people from Poland to Brazil to Bali, everyone said that why, why we don't have uh, Aldi or Lidl and that it's causing all kinds of leakage of money out of the town and creating a lot of problems with um, for the rest of the retailers in the town. Social center, everybody wants a place where they can meet, particularly migrant uh, females, I noticed, want to have a place where they can go just to a non-pub situation to have a coffee and meet other people. Um, we hope that the, our new community hall, when it's refurbished, will have to serve that purpose. And a centralized information source. Uh, the number of people who said, we don't know what's going on, like, if there was one response that I got out of this survey, there was the sentence that I heard the most was, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know that it's on. And uh, that, to me, is something that has to be solved in conjunction with se solving several, several of the other issues. Um, there's no one solution to that. Am I on, out of time? And on the little game in response to what they would like to see. Proper library and hopefully a hotel and a multi-purpose sports center like they have in Barney Carl. Um, more open and proactive attitude from the business community to healthy competition, Irish person of the 40s. Nigerian female, crash, there's, a long, there's no long day sick care for kids here, which makes a lot of people working. So I just used people's own words, I didn't edit some stuff. Have to go elsewhere to drop their kids, and also having more kids' activities around here, and transportation. Transportation is also the major problem in Valley Horse. British Irish citizen in their 40s wants in one place to go five days a week, nine to five, where people can study with Wi Fi and they start their own business for free or at a minimal cost. Seems to me like a, an easy enough one, like kind of a, what do they call that? We work or hot desking, right? Yeah. See, that seems a doable thing. And um, have we got another one?